John Gottman at the University of Washington set up an apartment with cameras and microphones and he'd have one couple at a time spend the weekend. He discovered patterns about how partners relate to each other which can be used to predict with 94% accuracy which marriages would succeed and which ones will fail. Many of these things apply to friendships and business relationships as well. And speaking, speaking personally, my wife and I have been married for 28 years and we can attest that these things really do work. What he found boils down to three things, roles, responsibilities, and things to avoid. Roles. The happiest couples had these two traits. Conflict startup. Now, conflict startup was a big issue because a conflict ends how it started 96% of the time. If someone wanted to discuss a subject that might result in a conflict, they would start the conversation in a kind way and most likely get a kind response in return and never use name calling. Honey, could you pick up the dishes, please? Works much better than, hey, you slob, do I look like your servant? The husband. The husband had a tendency to give in to the wife's requests. Uh, yes, dear, and okay, honey makes big points. Responses. When one member of the couple made a bid for affection, such as asking the husband or wife to put down the newspaper and talk or turn away from the computer, or opening their arms for a hug, etc., the spouse in the happy relationships would respond positively to the bid for affection at least 85% of the time. Thanks to avoid. Psychologists have identified four key problems that lead to divorce. Number one is criticism. That's putting the other person down. Note that criticism is different from complaining, which reflects your unhappiness without putting the other person down. Uh, it's important to me that we arrive on time or it bothers me when you're late is fine. You're being an irresponsible slowpoke is not. So comment on the behavior, not the person. Number two is defensiveness, and that's denial of responsibility of the problem. Better to accept responsibility and apologize if necessary. Contempt is number three. The suggestion that you're superior in some way to the other person. And this is frequently manifested in a very specific facial expression with one side of the mouth drawn down further than the other side, creating an unhappy dimple, often accompanied by an eye roll. Uh, and number four, stonewalling. A refusal to engage in and provide feedback. And these four things are called the four horsemen of the apocalypse by John Gottman. And the worst of these, contempt, thinking you're superior to the partner. So the solution, if things start down this road, is through repair attempts. Examples are, can you say that more gently, please? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I know it isn't your fault and I understand. So starting in a kind way in conflicts and talk about their behavior and not their character. Respond positively to your mate's request for attention. And if you start down the road, wrong road, repairing things early can get you back on track.